deck tech time, everybody. And hey, if you want to know how to play mono green Tron like Team Handshake, Javier Dominguez is here to help you out. All right, everybody, welcome to a deck tech here with our 2018 world champion, Javier Dominguez. Javier, how you doing? Pretty well. What about yourself? Oh, I can't complain, man. Happy to be here. So you're playing a deck that I wouldn't necessarily expect you and the members of Team Handshakes to play going into this event. You're playing the big bad of the format, Mono Green Tron. Tell us a little bit about why you chose to play this. Well, to be fair, we also didn't expect to play this deck. <laughs> yeah. uh, I have played it in the past, but most of the team were not very happy about like you know the yeah. idea of playing Tron. But we just expected the 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 decks that are good against this strategy to be not very common in the PT. Yeah. You know, all decks like like they were more popular before, like Amulet or Hammer or whatever. Mm -hmm. They used to be more popular than now, so we were like. You know, maybe it's a metagame bad in a way, yeah. and that's who we are. Yeah, the ring kind of Strong. controlled those matchups a little bit, which a is probably bit. helping you out. And we'll, we'll talk about that powerful addition in your deck as well. So first of all, we are playing with dun, 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 the Urza lands. We're playing with Urza's Mine, Urza's Power Plant, Urza's Tower. Um, that's the building blocks of the deck. But looking at some of the rest of the numbers of the deck, did you just not have enough Karn Liberated or <laughs> Sylvan Scryings in your collection and you couldn't play all four? Like, some of these numbers are very strange to me, so walk me through that. Yeah, I mean, they look strange. Uh, we definitely built a different version of the deck to what we have seen in the last 10 years or so because yeah. this deck has been around for most of the modern time. And looked the same. Yeah, and looked the same, yeah. right? So we just questioned this was like the right thing to do anymore, yeah. and we just built this deck from scratch. Okay. So we just assumed nothing was locked, nothing was like, you know, set. So we just tried all different numbers for all different cards, tried to reason why that could be there or not, and went in th on this. Okay. Three Sylvan's Crying, one Comedic Star, you know, like some of these members. <laughs> it just like, they look like string timers, but there's a reason behind every one of them. Like, yeah. you don't want to draw too many green spells, you know, some of the cards are not good in multiples, and we just try like you know to make this this is the best we could make yeah hopefully it works say, the one of karn liberated i mean that used to be the whole deck right you count one two yeah. seven and you play karn liberated but how the how the mighty have fallen huh yeah well i mean we still play one so you you can draw it and also you never draw two when it's bad that's an upside big brain stuff yeah. right there <laughs> big brain stuff right there so let's talk about some of the new additions to the deck, I think the most important one is the One Ring, right? I mean, this is this is a card that's you know popping up in a lot of different decks, but in Tron, I think it's kind of especially great since you can cast it on turn three. So walk me through a little bit about uh, the applications in, in your deck. Personally speaking, One Ring was the biggest reason to try Tron because it is not only good in turn three because other decks can actually play in turn three, like Breach, for Color, whatever. I think Tron is the best ring deck because, one, the protection actually makes a lot of sense here because yeah. you often need time only to use casual Ulamox. Yeah. And two, since the Tron lands, like every turn that goes on, you have more mana. Mm. The difference between your mana and your opponent's mana is bigger every turn. So you don't have this, like, I have 12 cards, 5 lands, I cannot play all of them. If you have yeah. 12 cards in Tron, you're going to have, like, a lot you're of gonna mana. You're going to play multiple spells. And you're going to play multiple spells. You're going to be yeah. like, five minutes plus or whatever and that is i think the run ring and the user's mind power plan and tower go very well together okay and like this is a deck that just kind of keeps the one ring in play right you don't have ways to bounce it back but your plan is to just win the game before the ring kind of deals enough damage to you yeah but also like other decks if you are mid game with a ring with three counters you have six mana or seven mana you have to spend half of your turn just casting the second ring because often you cast second ring to survive yeah but here you have 12 mana so just Pay Easy. four, pay another ring, and then you have eight mana to play, like, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay, so another thing that is very important to this deck is Karn the Great Creator. You know, you have a sideboard that is kind of all the one-ofs, maybe with one exception with uh, the Haywire Might. Uh, this still the, you know, the most important kind of card in the deck uh, with the Toolbox aspect? Yeah, absolutely. Or? Like, Karn is, like, probably the strongest card in the in the deck. Yeah. It's, it's one of the most uh, strong cards, like the strongest cards in the format, I think. Yeah. Like a modern. Like we play this card in this deck. It's played in other decks also. Yeah. And it's a card that not only like costs you a little bit in terms of deck building, but also the whole cyborg. Yeah. Like cyborging, cyborg is like a super impactful in modern, and we're still like sacrificing it to play this card. That's how good it is. Yeah, absolutely. And shutting down other rings, you know, yeah, that like, uh, ends up being a that great made, thing. Yeah, also plays well with ring. You can animate the ring, get an acceptable creature. Like it's a lot of good things going on from Karn. And yeah, you have the cyborg, we have a lot of single tiles, of course. Yeah. Like, you and know. one last quick question, what's the most important Karn target you got? I think it's how it might. Yeah. Must be might, because you know you, you can get it when you're too life with the ring, and the ring is yeah. killing you, and you draw a card, and like, 
you get know, that out of there. Yeah. Also, the other, you can also get the rings because you relic, relic of Rehiritus the rings, so oh. you can get it with the Karn. So ring is actually one you get a lot, even though you don't have it on the cyborg. Okay, I yes. love it. Well, yes. Javier, thank you so much for talking with me, and good luck this weekend. Thank you very much, Cory. Javier Dominguez currently sitting at 10 and.